Hi, I am Dr. Mashu. Welcome to my class. Today, I would like to discuss the structure of DNA. We know that cell is the basis, structural and functional unit of all living organisms. Inside the cell, there are different types of cell organelles is there, like mitochondria, chloroplast, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, a nucleus, etc. In, and in, inside the cell, the DNA is occupied in the nucleus, and apart from the nucleus, some other cell organelles like mitochondria, chloroplast, like organs uh, are also contain some amount of DNA. And this DNA is considered as a genetic material and uh, therefore it is uh, called as a hereditary uh, molecule of the living organism. It can able to transfer the genetic information from the parent to the offspring. Let's see the structure of DNA. Immediately after the finding, DNA as a genetic material, the scientists all over the world will focus on their research to find out the structure of DNA. DNA, the deoxyribonucleic acid, is a long protein like polymer made up of a monomer called nucleotides. And these nucleotides mainly contain three components. First one is a nitrogenous base, and second one is a pentosugar, and third one is a Phosphorylacetyl. In this figure, you can see the structure of a nucleotide. There is one pentose sugar is the one uh, nucleotide uh, nitrogen base is there, and then phosphorylacetyl is there. This is the structure of a nucleotide. Let's see the nitrogen base present in the DNA. Two group of uh, nitrogen base present in the DNA. There is purines and pyrimidines. These bases are heterocyclic compounds that contain both carbon and non-carbon atom. In the group of chlorine, there is two bases there. One is adenine and another one is guanine. In the case of DNA, there is two uh, type of uh, pyrimidine bases are present. That is thymine and cytosine. These are the nitrogenous bases present in the uh, DNA. You can see in, the, in this figure, there is uh, purine two, two bases there. And in the case of uh, pyrimidine, two bases are there. This is the nitrogenous base present inside the, uh, in, in the DNA. And next compound is the pentose sugar. In the DNA, 2-deoxy d ribose is the pentose sugar present inside the DNA. In this pentose sugar, the second portion hydroxyl group is removed. That is why it is called as a 2-deoxy ribose. This is the pentose sugar present in the DNA. Now we can see the nucleotides. As we told in the beginning, nucleotides are the building block of DNA. And this nucleotides contains one pentose sugar, one nitrogenous base, and present fossil residue. You can, in this figure, you can see this nitrogenous base. There is a sugar, a sugar, group, a sugar molecule is there, pentose sugar molecule is there, and nitrogenous base is there and then phosphorus is used there. And in the next picture you can see one example of nucleotide is there. Is there. Uh, that one is deoxy adenosine 5 monophosphate DAM is one of example of nucleotide. nucleotide. Uh, there is also DAM uh, is there, DMP uh, is there and DGMP is there and uh, DCMP is there also is there and in the case of nucleotides and you have, you have to learn since oligonucleotides oligonucleotides are the polymer of nucleotides that contain less than 10 nucleotides that means that chain contain less than 10 number of nucleotides that is known as oligonucleotides and we can see the polynucleotides the polynucleotides are the poly polymer of Nucleotides that contain more than 10 nucleotides. This is the polynucleotide. Now we can come to the structure of DNA. This, uh, we, are, we told that there is a uh, number of scientists they have studied about the structure of DNA. 
In 1953, two scientists named James Watson and Franz Crick, they have published uh, one paper detailing the structure of DNA. And for that finding, they have received the Nobel Prize in 1962. After that, this structure of DNA is known as Watson and Crick model of DNA. Here, we can see what is the structure of DNA that is known as Watson and Crick model of DNA. According to Watson and Crick model of DNA, a DNA consists of two polynucleotide chains, and this polynuclear chains wrapped helically around each other, around a common axis, and form a double helical structure. This double helical structure looks like a ladder. In that, sugar phosphate make ribbon like backbone, and nitrogenous base make transverse bar. And this polyurethane chains held together by held together by hydrogen bond of uh, between purines and pyrimidines of two strands. And this basis shows complementary base pairing that is that is adenine binding with only thymine and guanine only with binding with cytosine. And thus adenine binding with thymine by a two hydrogen bond and guanine binding with cytosine by a triple bond. This is known as complementary base. The two strands present in the DNA will be antiparallel. That antiparallel. That means one strand will be in the 3 dash to 5 dash direction and another strand will be in the 5 dash to 3 dash direction. In this uh, figure you can see that you see this uh, this and you can see two strands in the that is helically around each other and form a ladder like structure. You can also see the complementary base pairing A only bind with uh, D and G only bind with C. And uh, you can see the sugar phosphate backbone and you can see the transfer bar by the uh, adhesives with this basis. And uh, you can see uh, the angle parallel formation 3 dash 1 stand will be 3 dash to 5 dash and another stand will be. 5 dash to 3 dash dash. In Watson's Greek model of DNA, the diameter inside the sugar phosphate backbone will be 11 Armstrong, and outside the diameter of this DNA will be 20 Armstrong. And a complete turn of a DNA will be 34 Armstrong, and each turn contain 10 base pairs and therefore there will be 3.4 Armstrong space will be in each nucleotides. In helical structure of DNA, there is some empty space or groove is present that is known as two type of groove is there, one is major groove and another one is a minor groove. The length of minor groove will be 12 Armstrong and the length of major groove will be 22 Armstrong. And this formation of groove is due to the geometry of the nucleotide base. In this figure, you can see the details. The outside, uh, inside the diameter of sugar phosphate backbone is 11 Armstrong is here, and uh, outside the diameter 20 Armstrong is there, and uh, length of one term is 34 Armstrong is there, and uh, in each term that will contain 10 nucleotide base will be there, and the two groups. We can see here it is a major group and a minor group and here you can see the distance between the uh, this length and the length of of major group is the 22 Armstrong and the length of minor group is the 12 Armstrong. This is about the Watson and Crick model of DNA. Uh, this is the structure of DNA. I hope you understood this class. In my uh, coming lectures, I will discuss uh, discuss the structure or topology of DNA and uh, different conformation of DNA and different types of RNA.